That's the stuff. Nothing beats a Dr. Papa after saving the day. What? Are you worrying about other things? We just took down Akana and snagged the storm immunity. Why not kick back for a minute, mate? The best bit about this whole thing is I ended up with two ships in one day. Let's treat ourselves to fizzy drinks and get all puffed up today! Tavertin! Aside from my sinking ship? Not too shabby. Plenty of adventures, surprises and treasures. The only problem? This bloody island. So many rules! Can't even eat beans without getting a lecture. What's with the Abraxis biting people? What's with people biting people? Don't they understand that rules are made to be broken? No way people this obstinate could ever write good lyrics. Can you imagine? Six spitting rhymes. <laughs> I'm dead. But let's be honest, that last meal was absolutely smashing. They went out with a bang, didn't they? Striding into the storm to prove their beliefs? How cool was that? I was half tempted to join them, but I reined it in. Not today. This rockin' pirate will never suffer the same fate of those number crunchers. Because my grand finale will be the one that rocks the world, mate. Glad you enjoyed that. If you ever want more Dr. Papa, I'm here for you. What's wrong? I'm calculating the perfect time to set sail. Really? I've had that idea before and brought it up with the orator congregation. Because the language of the phenomenal world was not precise enough. It often led to misunderstandings. But when they tried it, most did not last a day. I'm surprised there's another great mind like mine in the phenomenal world. They must have a special number. Mm-hmm. I think we'll meet again soon. Hey, Wurzen, come drink with me. Only kids like Regulus drink soda. You should get used to vodka. I'm underage too. Sheesh, you were never the model student, but now you sound like one. 
If you're not into drinking holy water, at least chat with me. Or the joy of drinking will be lost. Now that's a topic to get the sips flowing. Who isn't up for a little reminiscing while drinking? I became a pilot because I love flying, obviously. Ah, the wind rushing past you, the thrill of acceleration. The weightlessness and adrenaline while chasing the enemy. The best part is the screaming when you slice apart their plane. Call me disloyal if you want, but to me, Xeno was just a place to get a pilot's license. Ever since I got my papers and an aircraft, I had been looking for a place to fly freely. In Xeno, I needed a mission to fly. At the Foundation, my role would have been reduced to a mere instructor. So I looked for a place with endless problems, where I could have unlimited fun in the air. Can you guess where I ended up? Your suitcase. Пока! Maybe you can join me for another ride sometime. Not like the last time when you were sick, but in an actual air fight. gentleman and help me carry this suitcase what's in it the moving pictures of typhon i chose for my new island friends including typhon and the auto island typhon and the pegasus typhon and the battle against jupiter all are perfect gifts for new friends i know what you're worrying about but don't worry Mwasa approved my request, so I asked the Foundation to make copies for everyone. Even though she said something like, no copyright issues in this time and year. Is copying not right in this era? Typhon never cared about such details when sharing with friends. the suitcase for me bless your heart of course leave it to me thanks again Burton say do you happen to know of any dark and empty rooms we can enjoy Typhon's moving pictures on a wall there with our new friends Yes, another storm we braved together. Even though there was a tense atmosphere before the storm, everyone was on edge. Their discussions were too hard to understand. I couldn't keep up. But good thing I was the best potion alchemist around. I whipped up helpful potions without even knowing what they were saying. I'll tell you a secret formula, Vatin. Add three grams of gold powder to coffee, and it becomes a refreshing potion. It works the best when you add it in front of their faces. Coffee and gold are an addictive combination, so don't get carried away. Remember, don't drink more than three grams of gold a day, 
and politely say no to anyone who asks for a lot of gold. I knew it, Burton. You must really enjoy lugging suitcases around. A beautiful morning to you, Burden. As you described, this is a forest worth looking forward to. Branches of the trees are arranged in a perfect pattern, showing a sense of harmony and unity. I can see the gentle and caring nature of the guardian of the forest. That is high praise. Indeed. All branches follow the same pattern and grow in the same way. The edges of squares give rise to triangles and the edges of triangles give rise to squares. I may not be familiar with this trimming style, but I can hear the trees humming with joy. That pattern is called the Pythagoras tree. I have heard of this Pythagoras. He was a mathematician. Little did I know that his theorem could be expressed on trees. My respects to the sagacity of the ancients. I'm grateful for your concern, Burden. I am well. The Foundation did not make it hard for me to repair the square. Instead, they collected data on the potential damage that the proliferating plants could cause to the Foundation's infrastructure. They also thoroughly examined the growth potions made by Ms. Sotheby. So it seems our next protest will need a new strategy. It won't be as easy. I would love to talk to the trees again. They are delightful. Farewell for now. Nice to meet you, Timekeeper. I have intended to visit you, but training interfered. Forgive me for meeting you like this instead. Training? Yes, training. I was instructed to leave Laplace and go on a vacation. Just as I was wondering where and how I was going to accomplish this task, Madame Z recommended your suitcase. So, I prepared this spare body for easier communication with the members in your suitcase. Considering the presence of underage individuals, I opted for a softer material. Hopefully, they will be comfortable with the temperature of my metal. As for my training, it is to master the art of resting. I would like to inquire, how does one define the concept of resting? Apologies for the interruption, Timekeeper. This is a paradox. My work has ordered me to rest. If I were to stop working, then I would have to stop resting too. Please provide an alternative suggestion. See you soon, Timekeeper. Remember, we still need to complete the resting plan. It's a seven-letter word. The second letter is A and the third letter I.
failing, failure, jailing, painful. No, not these. Open your mind. What about Rainbow? Hmm? Good one. Then the six is O, the start of opportunity. Wait, who's talking? There is no one around me. Is the IGM talking? Are you an awakened one? This is Vartin speaking. The timekeeper? I was so relaxed I forgot to check the microphone. Most of the staff is preparing funerals for the deceased. If you have anything to say, I'll pass it on. I was just going through words in alphabetical order. It had nothing to do with pessimism or my personal feelings. If you really want to call me that, then I'll say it takes one to know one. Pessimists have a knack for spotting their own kind. So were you just here for small talk? I was told it would help with my resocialization. Thanks. these people out into the hallway. This room's turning into a sauna. Burton? Thanks for the jacket, but I doubt anyone will catch a cold in this weather. It's been a while since we saw each other outside the Foundation, hasn't it? I should probably thank you for the extra work you're causing me. Finally, I have a chance to escape the daily grind and enjoy some fresh air. Even though some of the Foundation staff are starting to see me as your go-between. Whatever. It's nice to get away from the screaming patients once in a while. Here, the Equilibrium Umbrellas you requested. Managing, but unfortunately, some were beyond saving when they recited the incantation. The survivors were impacted in two different ways. Some looked fine on the outside, but their minds were definitely unstable. Of those people, some were just tired and having a bad day. I put them to sleep. That was easy. There were also people who were severely deformed by the curse. They had changed so much that they were unrecognizable. These patients quickly adapted to their new appearance and began to enjoy scaring their colleagues. Sometimes their pranks would go too far and the traumatized victims would end up coming to me. The sane arcanists are now more troublesome than the insane. It just goes to show how unpredictable arcanists can be. It's no big deal. Just part of the job. Now, if you don't mind, please verify the delivery and confirm receipt of the items you requested. The faster you count, the sooner I can take a break. Twist ball. You can't. 
can't fool me. The lovely Sotheby has given away the details of your plan. You should feel lucky that I'm soft-hearted and generous with other people's mistakes. Now, if you invite me to this ball, I will forget about what happened. There is no twist ball, Matilda. Do you really expect me to believe that? I... Uh, do you mean that? Was Miss Sotheby pulling a prank on me? Perhaps she forgot that she was supposed to hold the ball. So no one was left out. Elle ne va pas se lancer dans une danse du twist fou. Hmm. You'd better be telling the truth. I hope you will come up with a more tasteful event next time. And be sure to invite me. As the monitor assistant, I am obligated to be there and supervise. I... I never said I wanted a party. Unlike you, I've been keeping myself occupied as the monitor assistant. And I already have plans for my next holiday, and I will be visiting my mother in the one after that. If you want me at your party, make sure it is scheduled after my family time. Which is... Not another ball without me, I should hope. You're cleverer than this thirteen. You know you can't fool me. I will be watching. Congratulations, Burton. The Foundation is pleased with your recent performance. I am here to award you on behalf of the Foundation. I know you're not a fan of these ceremonies, so here is your medal and a brief statement on your achievements. That was nothing compared to what you and your friends have done. Even though we now have the equilibrium umbrella to shield us from the storm, we still have ways to go before we can truly understand it. We will get there, Burton. Slowly, but surely. No need to rush, Burton. Take your time and rest. Enjoy the company of your friends before you set out again. Don't worry about the reports, I'll handle them. You've been busy ever since becoming the timekeeper, and you deserve a break. As expected, the wine on this island is exquisite. I, this apple, pledges to personally take on the task of documenting these wines and preserving their names for posterity. They will be called Cuvée Aperon, in honor of this respectable school of thought. It pains this apple to the core that such a talented group of scholars parted ways over philosophical differences, Miss Verton. Disagreements are not always bad. Sometimes the spark of progress comes from the friction of ideas. 
The flaws in the foundation of calculus weren't discovered by a mathematician, but by a theologian heavily involved in the study of religion. And for that, we should be grateful to him for bringing it to light. His insights revealed weaknesses in the concept of infinitesimals, prompting a need for improvement. Thanks to his criticisms, mathematics was spared from becoming a palace of errors and lies. This apple believes that the current differences in the school of Aperon will eventually lead to a greater unity. We should toast to differences. Bon voyage, Miss Verton. Hey, Burton, what a lucky surprise. I'm setting up a new Goldberg machine. This place is going to be a hub. When a seagull glides over the ocean and builds a nest on one end of this lever, a stone will be flung from the other end, which will fly all the way to... Hmm, well, the fun will be spoiled if I tell you now. See for yourself when I'm done. Why don't we talk about something else? Like Laplace? You might want to hear what a mess it is over there. They have no idea who can take her place. She was much loved, as one could tell from that epic farewell. Nobody has the courage to sit on her recharger throne, as you never know when you'll get burned. And it will take some time to transform the office back into a space for living beings to use. <laughs> I have to admit that sometimes I prefer the chaos. Since nobody has time to tell us what to do, we already have exciting projects in the pipeline. I'll catch you later. I've got a couple of gadgets to tune up. completed all of our assigned tasks. The foundation gave me a break, but I don't know what to do with my free time. Would you mind if I spent some time with you? Certainly. We can chat a little. Thank you, Timekeeper. I wanted to talk to you about the mission we just had, especially about Sophia. Sorry, this is about to sound like a work report. I'm not very good at small talk. Can you start the conversation? Yes, as enemies. I could not understand her motives. She was one of the most devout believers I knew. So why did she turn her back on up here on? She knew Manus Vindicte never cared for the lives of others. She witnessed the suicide attacks carried out by Manus followers on the island. She experienced it all firsthand. I know that their intention was to provoke war, and the invading soldiers must have had their assistance. The islanders were thrust into war, their beliefs shattered, and their vulnerability then exploited by the Manus, who welcomed them with open arms. I feel frustrated, like I've lost another debate. I knew the right answers, but could not articulate it. I had to watch them die without being able to convince them otherwise. I wish I didn't lose this debate, Timekeeper. It's a 
okay, Timekeeper. Don't let me keep you. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk later when you have time. Hello? Miss Burton, what brings you here? Have they finally decided my verdict? I hope my recent actions were enough to prove my innocence. Really? That is wonderful news. I am relieved to hear that I have been helpful. These past few days have left me on edge, wondering if they would pry open my battery cover, or submerge me in formalin, or even take me apart in search of enemy signals. Thank you for your confidence in me, Miss Burton. So, am I allowed to move freely within the Foundation now? I could use a little cleaning, polishing, and perhaps a coat of wax, if I can find someone to do it. In that case, why don't we enjoy a little pampering time together? We could slather ourselves in machine oil, bask in the sun, and let the rays zap our impurities away. The lake is overflowing. It's cold, just like a flowing wine. Wait, where am I? What? Back from... Ha! The brown bean juice the math geeks hate so much? You think I'd make a fuss again? Coffee would be lovely, but right now Dr. Papa is my jam. So, uh, maybe next time. Of course, we already have the Equilibrium Umbrella saving us from the storm. Just gotta put it into production and distribute it worldwide. Give it a hundred years It'll be the year 2000 in no time. Alright, maybe that's a bit too long, but we can find a better way for sure. And there's no solid proof that the storm only takes us back to the 20th century, is there? What if, as the dorky biter would say, there is such a thing as a white crow? Maybe the next storm will take us to the future. A future where we can sail into space! Oh, I'm gonna be a rockin' space pirate, that's for sure. And we'll pop over to Leo and see if any aliens are up for some rock and roll!
Glad you enjoyed that. If you ever want more Dr. Papa, You're early for our reunion. Is your watch telling the wrong time again? This question is unresolved. The outside world is too murky, too distant from the essence. My mind becomes clouded and dull, limiting the power of my arcane skills. But maybe I can take it on as a new project. Make this murky world clean again. I think it will be a lot of fun. Sophia will love it too. If she comes back. Mm -hmm. I think we'll meet again soon. Ready to catch the wind? Or did you forget something here? Zeno, it's a party over there. They've been wanting to erase Arcana from existence since 1999. And they finally did. The bomb flattened the entire military base, leaving nothing behind. The authorities have officially confirmed her death. Now everyone in Xeno is celebrating the victory. There was a commendation ceremony. Even the dogs were honored with medals. But accolades mean nothing to me, so here I am, talking to you. Пока! Maybe you can join me for another ride sometime. Not like the last time when you were sick, but in an actual... Burton. How may I be of assistance to you? Thank you for asking, Burton. Everyone at the Foundation may look tough, but they're all really friendly. You see, they only ask for 500,000 Sharpadontes as the compensation for turning the Foundation building into a treehouse. Hundred thousand. Can you believe it? That's not even worth a dragon's heart. I have a feeling the so-called compensation was just a gesture to alleviate my guilt. They were too considerate to embarrass a lady. How chivalrous they were. Besides, I also got acquainted with the great Musbunish. She is a lovely lady who has been guiding me through the Foundation. I would have loved to hold a ball to show my appreciation, but Mr. Carson told me that if a lady always responds with, I need to think about it, then her answer is no. Perhaps she is not into balls. Have you known Ms. Boonish for long, Virgin? Could you possibly share her interests with me? I knew it, Burton. You must really enjoy lugging. We meet again, Verdon. Are you here to talk to the trees too? Defeating Arcana. I am not certain she can be defeated. To defeat an entity like her, one must first understand her intentions. Manus Vindicte's purpose is clear, but Arcana's is a mystery. She didn't care about anything based on the time I spent with her. In accordance with the laws of nature, fruits fall, seeds take root, and trees bear new produce. The tree can be pruned, its fruit thinned and even cut down to change its appearance. Yet the inherent law of nature cannot be altered. To me, Arcana is like an unchangeable law, one without any purpose. It cannot be overcome, just as it cannot be changed. 
I would love to talk to the trees again. Any more advice on resting, Timekeeper? I am glad that you and I have come to the same conclusion. Based on my observations, resting is what one does to recharge their physical and mental systems. Through the combination of a balanced diet, suitable exercise, and sufficient sleep. But these measures do not work for the awakened. I require no sleep, my sustenance is electricity, and exercise quickens my deterioration. I suppose the closest definition of resting is the continuous charging of electricity. But from your perspective, can this not be categorized as the sin of gluttony? See you soon, Timekeeper. I am no arcanist. I can only draw conclusions from what I see. So if you have something to say, say it directly. <sighs> she dumped a mess on Ulrich and I. The research team would become its own department and focus on studying the Equilibrium Umbrella. And Ulrich and I are going to head it. Once he's done with his hunger strike, we'll have to decide who's going to be in charge of all the boring stuff Madame Lucy couldn't be bothered to deal with. Stuff like politics, getting along with people, and working with other organizations. I must say that Laplace is being overly technocentric here. They couldn't find anyone else to head the department, except for this unsociable researcher and this awakened thing that can't even show emotions like a normal person. The social scene at Laplace is going to be a disaster. So were you just here for small talk? I was told it would help with my... Done with accounting? There's no need to hurry. Get the numbers right, Fairton. To do what? Be your errand girl? Sadly, the number of people losing their minds only increased over the years. I'll never be able to leave this job. You should continue your efforts, Fairton. Find ways to minimize the impact of the storm on people, as you did with the Equilibrium Umbrella. That'll save me a lot of trouble. It's no big deal. Just part of now, if you don't mind. Please, the faster you count, the sooner... Something you want to tell me? J join you? You mean leaving here with you? Or also with, with, with her? <laughs> you can't trick me into breaking the rules. I will become a foundation investigator all on my own. And I will outdo you and Sonetto in this position. By then, you will be hoping to join me, not the reverse. Which is... You're cleverer than... Is there anything else, Burton? You could say that. But some wasted no time in securing their next step. They're already seeking partnership with Laplace on the development of the Equilibrium Umbrella. The Umbrella will allow the Foundation to move freely during the storm. The Committee should announce a new bill on field investigation soon. The balance within the Foundation will shift once more. 
politicians will be busy. Speaking of balance, we should be equipping frontline investigators with equilibrium umbrellas as a top priority. No need to rush, Wurzen. Enjoy the company of your friends. Don't worry about the reports. Would you like to learn more about this wine? That should not be a problem. She is still too young to drink. And this apple knows that deep down, she isn't as annoyed by the people and this island as she seems. In fact, she is a natural at adapting. After all, she settled into the foundation with ease. The apple is immensely grateful that the captain is always by your side and there is no need to worry. It should also be beneficial for her to see more of the timeline. But please watch over her, Miss Verton. Her rock star spirit may lead her to an early demise. What? Like other rock stars, the captain's carefree and daring nature constantly puts her in danger, making every minute potentially her last. This is what this apple has observed in the rock community over the years. Bon voyage, Miss Verton. Hey again! What's our topic for this round? You mean Ulrich? He's still on hunger strike, camping out in front of the committee building, day in and day out. He was alone at first, then some human researchers and arcanists joined him. Even though none of them could last as long as Ulrich. Eventually, the Foundation employees arrived, pushing a cart full of food. Ulrich's scream of TRAITORS was so loud that it was hard to believe he could make such a sound. But he also has a lot of work to do, so I assume he'll be there a few days, and we'll have to end the strike as deadlines approach. I'll catch you later. I'm here, Timekeeper. Are you free now? I will do everything in my power to prevent tragedies like Sophia's and Schneider's from happening again. No matter how impossible it may seem right now, I will find a way. Sorry, those were big words I know. What I really want to do is... to keep being your assistant, Timekeeper. For it is my duty and my own will. Let us do this together, Timekeeper. It's okay, Timekeeper. We can talk later. Did you find something, Miss Verton? Certainly. Which DJ do you have in mind? Or are we looking for updates on a particular politician? From AM to FM, I'll scan through all the frequencies just for you. The name is Ad. Ah, the biographer. She is the reason we embarked on this great journey. What intrigues you about her? I can't be sure. It's just a gut feeling. Oh. I didn't mean to pry. I will gladly help and pay close attention to the name. If it comes up in the news, I'll let you know right away. In that case, why don't we... We could slather us 